Good afternoon, I wanted to go very fast over uh, today's trade, uh, BK and OI. Uh, today, uh, I got a stab on BK. Again, this is a high price name, so small amount of shares on this one because the range uh, tends to be a little bit better, uh, but I liked uh, this one as a short. And I, I found uh, this one when it was around Forty six dollars and forty cents around there. Back uh, here, so you notice all of the trend lines and all of that kind of stuff. It was dropping quick. Let me try to show you something that I posted on on Twitter and also on Stock Twist. And there you have uh, the first picture that I posted on Twitter. It was dropping the first time around. It had a micro bounce of the five minute time frame and that one got me excited. Then the second time I posted this one, very good follow through move because this one, uh, as you notice here, kept on dropping, came right back up to around the 46.56, didn't drop some more. And I just wanted to give you some rope here. This is the reason why I'm showing you the tweets. Uh, BK found a uh, resistance. I'm gonna show you all of this in the chart. Right around here, came right back down again and I posted it expecting some follow through. Also watching the 15 minutes time frame, And this thing just uh, behaved very well. So I was uh, paying attention to the 15 minute time frame. As you notice here, he started to come down. This is what I found the first time, the first picture that you saw. Huge downtrend here, the first time around. He was finding the first uh, green candle here, found a little resistance right here. As you can see, a little round bottom formation with a shooting star in the one minute for that reversal. This one had a very, very nice follow through. And as you noticed, I posted I was also uh, looking for some follow through in a 15 minute time frame. That was when it was printing this uh, green candle right here. Let me just put a circle, this one right here. I was looking for some follow through move to the downside. Down here, it was actually also printing, let's see if I can show you guys. There you go. On the one minute, it was printing this uh, small pennant flag formation here that was picking a breakdown. It went sideways for a little bit, then had the breakdown and came back down small bounce some more move to the downside shooting star here and start to go sideways for a little while kept on dropping ramp up here found resistance around the 100 went sideways and down here again so there were many opportunities for you to be adding and taking out. It was actually a pretty decent trader. As of right now, it keeps on coming down. I think we are printing a bear flag affirmation of the 15 minute time frame. This is what the reason why I like to watch uh, longer time frames as well. So that way I can I have an idea of what the longer time frame is doing. So that way I can manage my position a little bit better. This is one of the things that I told you guys that I wanted to do. Coming back next uh, this year, 2020, this is the reason why I took a little vacation back on December, the whole month of December. I wanted to measure uh, a little bit better ideas of, uh, you know, which managing my, my trades, not only going by the penny, because if you think in your head about the trade that you have to be trading, then that will put you in a bubble, like that will put you like, like stamp you, label you that you just supposed to be a trader when you can do a lot more don't eat a slice of the apple if you can have the whole apple the other name that got me was oi this one was dropping very fast right out of the open 
and I really thought that we were gonna have some follow through you can see the trend lines that I had over here he got me in on this uh, flush here and then it started to go sideways around the view app I really thought that you know breaking down this trend line we're gonna have a really nice follow through but really wasn't too too much um, I was really expecting this to go all the way up to uh, 1310 where we had a prior resistance and from there it, it kept on coming back down if you can notice right there the high of that those candles are 1310 and it maybe wait a long time Yes, it is true that, you know, we had a, a low, uh, a dipped uh, a little below the low of this candle here, which was uh, 1292. I was expecting to come back to the, those areas. And we dipped to the low of this one here, 1288. But the thing is that, you know, the volume wasn't too great. I had to exit that position really um, pretty much not the way that I wanted because the, really the volume wasn't there no more and it just kept on going sideways um, while it was trading under the view app for me it was okay because I was expecting some follow through to the downside but once it got on top of the view app if you notice here every single candle in the 15 was actually kind of testing the view app and coming right back down but right here uh, all of those testing things and coming down now became support because all of these candles now are printing and they finding a base support around the view app so this is a this is an issue for me I really wanted to um, not take a chance and I decided that for me it was too much of a risk just to leave it hanging there and you know I just uh, you know decided that it was not the best idea to stay in but uh, to get out and uh, but the reality of it all is that sometimes it happens and well, at least uh, today we had a, a decent trade on BK. Not the you know the huge trade, but it was a green trade. Um, a couple of different entries and exits because um, um, you were able to add, or I was you know you guys were with me on the stream, but um, I cut the stream around 10:30 in the morning. I kept on managing my position afterwards, and. If you notice here, there were different opportunities uh, to add on the bounce and to cover on the flush. And if you manage well your positions, then you're able to make a decent uh, money. So today overall, it was uh, decent, not the huge, huge day, but you know, a couple of good opportunities on BK and OI wasn't uh, such a big thing, but at least it wasn't so bad um, another thing that I wanted to mention if you guys are interested for the ones that are still all the way back here watching this video if you're interested on a three month plus dip dive coaching into your trading uh, please send me a DM you can do that on Instagram or maybe a message right here on YouTube uh, Instagram or Twitter even Facebook if you want to for those who uh, are very serious into it, I can most definitely help you guys out. And you know, a lot of times people say the strategy, trading strategy. For me, trading strategies don't work really. You're supposed to have a strategy, but that's not the first thing that you're gonna have or that you need to have. Trading strategies makes no sense. A lot of people are just preaching the holy grail of trading strategies if you have a strategy strategy for me strategies don't work so if you're serious just uh, send me a dm i'm trying to put a group together so i can give him some coaching uh, over the next three months for those of you that are really serious and interested there's not gonna be no bs no wasting time no nothing we're gonna go into a really deep dive into your learning curve uh, so that way you can take control of your career into trading different kinds of trading if you're swing trading or uh, day trading or even investing if you want to go that route uh, for now i'm going to let you guys go enjoy the rest of your day um, happy weekend and i'll see you guys later